Good morning, America. We are in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're at the uh, RT Electronics booth getting very trippy. This is Michael. Michael, how you doing, man? Doing great, man. Good to meet you. What are we hearing? Because everything sounds awesomely bizarre so far. Well, right now, we're looking at the uh, ultimate analog delay. Basically, this is two independent stereo channels, a bucket brigade delay, up to a full millisecond. We have all the standard tap divisions. You have quarter note, triplet, dotted eighth note, eighth note, eighth note triplet, and a sixteenth note. That all is divisible by your tap tempo switch. I'll be tapping over here. I can tap the X sync, tap everything on my pedal board at the same time. Other cool thing we've done with the ultimate analog delay is we've managed to make our modulation sync to the tap tempo. So if I exaggerate the modulation for a minute, you'll hear that gets really swirly. If I tap slow, the modulation tracks with it. If I tap really fast, the modulation tracks with it. We can have really dark delays, really bright delays, everything in between. Also on channel two, we have an optional arpeggiator. It can be turned on or off or on our hold for infinite feedback. Hold for infinite feedback sounds like this. On channel two, that can be layered with our arpeggiator. This arpeggiates whatever you're playing. Has different modes of arpeggiating. It's very versatile. You can do triplets. Whatever you tap keeps it going. Analog mix control. Everything we do is 100% analog signal path. There's digital functionality. I tell people to think of it as a robot turning the knobs for you. Right on, man. <laughs> Not much delay, don't do. Yes, sir. And you got one more, right? That's new this here at the show? Yes, sir. Well, new to the world in general. Uh, a lot of folks aren't familiar with multiband compression. It's a studio tool. Uh, the lowest commercially available multiband compressor in the world. It costs around $3,600. We're the first people to put it into a guitar pedal. For those that don't know, multiband compression separates your signal into five audio bands. I can listen to those separately. I can compress as much or as little as I want. I can turn the band up and down. It's basically the best of both worlds with compression and equalization. You can press all the low end, leave the top alone. If you'd like it a little brighter, you can bring that up. Make it a little more aggressive on the compressor side. The options are all really up to the end user. We also make a smaller version. The three band version has about half the knobs, it's about half the price. Also accomplishes most of the same sounds. All right, Killer, you got a website, right? Yes. And it, it better be a descriptive one, because that does a lot. Yes, right? very descriptive website at www.rtelectronics.com. Listen to Michael, go there now, do your thing. Farewell from Nashville, Tennessee.